Hello again. This is an LT SPICE video for the Electronics 1 class at the University of Minnesota Duluth. I'm going to show in this video how to do a transient simulation, specifically with an RC circuit and an RC time constant. So let's start up a new file or a new circuit. I'm going to click on components and I'll put a voltage source into the circuit first. I'll give that voltage source some parameters later. I'm going to click R to get a resistor and turn it sideways. I'll put it up there. I'm going to click the key C to get a capacitor. I'll put it there. Um, I'm going to do a square wave with a period of two milliseconds. And so I calculated that a resistor value of 1K, 1 kilo ohm, and a capacitor value of 330 nanofarads that roughly gives me uh, three time constants per like positive half cycle or negative half cycle of the waveform. So we can kind of see what's going on. Um, okay, so I'll wire all of this up. And I'll put a ground in the circuit, wiring that as well. Okay, so now I have to set up the voltage source to actually give me the waveform that I want. So I'm going to right click on it, and you can put a DC value in there if you want. It's not going to get used. Click on Advanced, and then click on Pulse. We've got all these different options for lots of different things that we can do here. Um, either Pulse or Sign is normally what we're going to be using. So let's click on Pulse. This is uh, like a square wave or a PWM type of waveform that we get to set a lot of the relevant parameters for. So um, V initial, let's make that zero volts. That's where the waveform starts. Um, and that's where it will fall back to as well um, after the positive cycle. So V on, this is where it goes to when it's positive. So let's make that 3.3 volts. That's a pretty typical value. Um, time delay, so this is how long it's going to stay at the initial voltage before it transitions to the positive voltage or the higher, the V on, I guess. That could be negative too if you want it to be. Um, this only happens once, so you can set it to be the same thing as like the half period of the PWM waveform or not. Um, I'm just, I'm going to do that, so I'm going to set it to one millisecond, one M. So time rise, this is the amount of time that it takes for the waveform to go from the ne negative or the initial value, I guess, to the on value. The on value could be more negative than the initial value. In this case, it's not, but it could be. I don't care about that in this case, so I'm going to make this something really small. I'm just going to make it one picosecond. Same for the fall time. Um, T on, so this is how long it stays in the on voltage for. If you want this to be a PWM waveform with a 50% duty cycle, this has to be half of T period. So I'll make it one millisecond and then I'll make T period two milliseconds. It doesn't have to be set up that way. You can make T on one millisecond and T period 10 milliseconds and that would be a 10% duty cycle, I guess. Um, and then number of cycles. So this is how many uh, periods it's going to oscillate for. So I'll make that five. Just just because. Okay, so now we can see all the parameters there. Um, because this is kind of overlapping with the other wire, I'm going to drag this voltage source so, just so that nothing overlaps. And we can see everything clearly. There we go. Now I'll click on simulate, edit simulation command. So transient simulation is what I want. That's the default selection. The only thing that I have to put in here is stop time. And so I said five periods of a two millisecond period waveform. So that's 10 milliseconds total. That'll let me see everything. Um, so now I will save this. Old versions of LT Spice didn't let you run simulations until you saved everything. I think the new one is somewhat better, but I'm still going to do it anyway. So now I'm going to simulate that. Um, I can click on this to 
there, resize the schematic because it got a little bit smaller. Um, so first I'll hover over this node and then left click on it to plot that waveform. Um, so we can see, you know, it went from zero to, or it stayed at zero volts from zero to one millisecond, and then it, it goes up to 3.3 volts for one millisecond at a time. Um, if I change this transient stop time to 20 milliseconds, because I only put in five periods, we should only see, yeah, five of those. Um, so there's nothing relevant to see after 10 milliseconds based on how I set up the, the voltage source there. Um, Okay, what else might be interesting to see? Um, time delay, let's just set that to two milliseconds and then that should shift everything to the right a little bit. Oh, um, this little button up here with the guy running, I guess, or something like that, that runs the simulation again, so it, it'll replot everything. Yeah, so everything shifted to the right by one millisecond because I just increased that T delay. So let's set that back to one millisecond. There we go. And now to plot the relevant waveform here, I'm just going to left click on this node. And now we can see the capacitor charging and discharging. And it should charge up to about three time constants worth there, which is, I don't know, something like 95% of the final voltage. And then discharge to roughly the same amount and then sort of charge back up. Since it doesn't completely discharge, um, it's going to be centered around uh, the midpoint eventually. Um, cool, so that's the basic version. Let's make the capacitor smaller. That makes the time constant smaller as well because tau is equal to RC. So if I make the C smaller, that makes the time constant smaller. It's easier to charge up a smaller capacitor, so it's, it should charge up more. So I rerun that. Yeah, and now you can see that it essentially completely charges and completely discharges every time. If I make that capacitor bigger, let's make it one microfarad. Um, now it shows a totally different behavior because it's not able to charge up or discharge all the way each time. So it gets kind of locked into this point around the middle of the input waveform. Um, let's go back to 330 nano there. Anything else interesting for me to show here? Um, so let's play around with this rise time and fall time just very quickly. Let me set this to 100 micro and 100 micro here just to show you what they do. Now you'll see that the uh, waveform the input waveform looks a little bit different. It's not a perfect square wave anymore because it takes a certain amount of time for the uh, voltage to reach either the on level or the default level. And that does mess with the, um, the uh, charging voltage of the capacitor too a little bit. Okay, so I think that's all for this video. Um, there will be more videos um, showing the other uh, relevant things in the LTs by soon.